Today we'll be talking about preparing your laptop to take the California bar exam. We'll cover startup items, storage space, updates, and also registering your copy of Exemplify with CalBar and not SCU Law. We'll cover Windows 10 and also Mac OS, and I'll leave timestamps in the description if you want to jump ahead. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at startup items on Windows 10. You're on your desktop. Right click on the bottom bar and you want to select on Task Manager. If it looks like this, just click on More Details to expand it. And you want to go to the Startup tab. Here's where you'll see all of your startup items. Um, a common one during exams um, is Spotify and Steam. So if you've got those listed here, you want to just right click, click on Disable. Uh, it'll show in the status disabled and then that's how you know it won't on a restart it's not going to automatically pop up um, and so that's just one of the things um, that you can disable to just make your exam experience a little better um, next is checking your, your the space on your hard drive and you want to check on this pc double click on the pc icon if you don't have that you can also click on the folder and here you can click on this pc in the corner as well and here you should see uh, your main hard drive and that'll show you how much space you have available. So here on this hard drive, plenty of space. So if I'm about to take an exam with exam ID, they're recording all of that. So um, at least plenty of space. A quick note on storage. As of September, 2020, we haven't found any concrete answers for recommended storage space from ExamSoft or CalBar. Now in the spring this year, we did run some tests with exam ID and exam monitor, and we were getting about 200 megabytes per hour of testing. Now that being said, we'd actually recommend about a gig of space per hour of testing. And if you have a five hour exam, you want at least five gigs of space available on your hard drive. Now, while that is way more than you would need for exam ID and exam monitor, uh, we feel like having a little more space isn't a bad thing. If you are running low on storage space, we would recommend a cloud storage service or moving some of that data onto an external hard drive. And this would mostly be for photos and videos because those are typically what take up the most amount of space on a hard drive. Boom, and then last but not least, if you're on Windows, update shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, but if you, it's been a while, you could just hit on the start button and then just type in updates, check for updates. I just did an update recently, so I should be okay. Last but not least, if you recently installed Exemplify, check on those updates as well. Um, I don't have it installed on here, but boom. So on the Mac OS for checking your startup items, click on system preferences, and you wanna click on users and groups. And it may be located in a different section depending on what version of Mac OS you're running. So here you want to select your account, which is probably, you probably wouldn't have as many as I do here. Uh, and then you wanna select login items. And then you may have Spotify or Steam here. That's what you want to remove or disable. So really you just click on it, click on remove or the little minus button there, and then it should take it off your login items. So that way, if you do have to do a restart during the bar or any other exam, it's not gonna be popping up while you're trying to get to Exemplify. You should also be mindful of your the space on your hard drive. So here, uh, if you have your hard drive on your desktop, you can just click right click, click on Get Info, and it'll tell you how much space you have. So I think I've got a good amount here. Or you can also use the Spotlight Search and just select Storage Management, hit Enter, and here, right at the top, it'll tell you how much you have available and uh, it actually the storage management is pretty helpful because it'll also tell you where the bulk of your space is being taken up so if you have maybe a lot of apps or maybe a lot of movies music shows whatever um, you should see that here and then you should also be able to adjust that if needed a quick note on macOS versions. As of the fall this year, uh, Exemplify has ended support for all macOS versions below High Sierra. So if you are not running macOS High Sierra or above, like Mojave or Catalina, 
um, then you definitely need to upgrade before you take your Cal Bar exam. Um, and then uh, let's see, lastly, CalBar does recommend you uninstall and reinstall uh, Exemplify entirely. So we do have some folks who will maybe just unregister and then re-register with the CalBar, which will work, but I think it would be best to really just follow what is on the CalBar uh, page and just blow it away. And so really, if you go to Finder Applications, Really all you gotta do, right click, move to trash, empty your trash and it's uninstalled. And then just load the version they have sent in their email and then register that way. A quick side note, if you do install the bar version of Exemplify and it's still showing that you're registered under Santa Clara, just click on the home menu over here, scroll down and click on switch account and you wanna hit add new account. Here, you're gonna enter CalBar Online. And then that should show the state bar of California, Cal Bar Online. Go ahead and click on next. And here's where you will add in your Cal Bar user ID and password that the Cal Bar has sent you. And once you enter that in and sign in, it'll show you that you're registered for the Cal Bar up here and not Santa Clara University. Once you do have that registered, installed and registered, just make sure you've got the right version number. Um, which should appear here in the lower right hand corner. But if as long as you you were using the links they provided, you should be all set. But yep, that's it. You're gonna do great. And that's it. Now you're all set to take the bar. Do make sure you take the mock exams available because this is gonna test out exam ID and exam monitor to ensure those are working properly. And be sure to give yourself plenty of time to take that mock exam just to make sure you've got no unexpected things coming up before test time. So while these things that we've shown you will help you prepare your laptop, um, also ask yourself, how's the laptop been running overall? If it's been working fine, no issues, you should be good to go. And that's it. You got this. On behalf of LaTeX and SU Law, we're all rooting for you. Best of luck as you take this year's CalBar exam. Thanks for watching.